Hi guys, this is Super 3 and today we're continuing our playthrough of The Walking Dead Season 2. This is Episode 5, Chapter 6. I know she was running her mouth. What did she say? Well, we didn't talk about you. Really? Really, Kenny. We're talking about Luke. <sighs> what happened? It's over. But AJ needs us now. We gotta stick together on this thing, alright? Come on. Let's see if the truck's gonna go. Imagine Let's have more pointless bomb props. He was fixing up. He was a mean son bitch. But he taught me respect. Girl like Jane could learn a thing or two about that. She's not easy to like. Well, that's putting it mild. Feels like another Lily situation to me. All right, give it a turn. Lily kept us alive for the longest amount of time. And if no one pulled any crap, we'd have been fine. We're so close, Clem. With a little bit of luck, I can get this thing running. And then we can get out on the road and really make some distance. Wellington's got to be out there. Now those rumors can't all be bunk. I mean, hell, there's got to be something out here other than snow and goddamn Euro trash. Sounds good to me. We're gonna make it, Clem. I know it. All right, turn it again. We're all Kenny has at this point. Did you turn it? Yes. God damn it! <sighs> Kenny, are you okay? We gotta get moving if we're gonna keep AJ alive. We're running out of time. I gotta get this thing to start. Gonna try warming up the battery. Go on inside. I don't like leaving him with that girl. Actually, he has a point. I really don't trust Bonnie for crap. And I actually just want her out of the game. She's really starting to annoy me. What do you want? I'm sorry about Luke. Sorry. It must be nice being a pretty little girl. No one ever expects you to do a damn thing. Oh, wow. You and I both know you had a chance to save Luke. You and I both know what happened back there. I got Yeah, and you screwed up. You. Wow. Yeah, whatever. That wasn't enough for me to give a crap because I just don't like her. The thing is, this character, do you think, really, is it worth helping them out? Do we care if we meet them again? And she's definitely right at the top of the list of people I don't give two craps about. Mike and Arvo wouldn't shut up, so I moved him in here. God damn it! I've seen that look before. Mike becoming friends with the Son of a prisoner. Oh, damn it. He'll be fine. Clem, he beat that boy within an inch of his life. We are way past fine. I know Kenny's a nice guy, Clem. I bet Carver was a nice guy too. Once. Probably had a nice job and a nice pretty wife. Then all this happened. And one day he caved some kid's face in and realized he could sleep at night. Kenny isn't Carver. 
He just made a mistake. All I'm saying is, start thinking about what happens if you're wrong. You two have known each other a long time. Sooner or later, you're gonna have to decide how much that's worth. He's worth everything. He's the only person who's never abandoned me. Even you ran off on us. Something. And she refers to it as it as well. Which I did ironically, I'd like to add. Seems like you've done that before. It's not rocket science. I feel like I'd drop it. Okay, I'm in charge of the baby holding. <laughs> I don't trust her. She's acting weird with in regard to this. Plus she ate glass. Much left. I was running with some people a long time ago, down near DC. Some guy got trapped in the middle of a crosswalk. Can't remember his name. He used to call me Mary Jane. He's a douchebag. Anyway, the dick got stuck under a car hiding from a dozen walkers. One after another, they went down there trying to save him. Lost four people before we got him out. So he made it? He was bitten. Didn't find out till later he was already bit. Turn and rip the neck right out of this old lady. The look on her face was... She was just staring up at the sky, like she was watching a bird. Look, Clem. He got it working. I don't know. The, yeah, I... I really... The thing is, if Luke was in the group... Still, I'd trust the group a bit more. So what's the plan? How much food do we have? At least a week. And for the baby? We need to find a place for the baby. Yeah, someplace warm. I agree. I've got a feeling Mike and Bonnie have been trying south. to take the car because I don't trust them all. Freeze to death. I don't know whose stupid idea it was to march up here in the first place, but it was a bad one. She's right. What if we went back to house? Wait, what? Fuck that. I was thinking more like Texas. Texas? The fuck? It was just an idea. We already talked about this. I'm sorry. We did? We're going to find Wellington. Right, Clem? Wellington? Kenny, it's freezing up here, man. I'm with Kenny. We should head north. Goddamn right. Clem. My friend Krista. She told me about Wellington a long time ago, Jane. If Krista's alive. She's gonna be at Wellington. Look, well, screw you, Bonnie. Don't start shaking your head at me. I got this truck working, so I say where we go, and we're heading fucking north. It's the best chance we got to help an AJ. What about Arbo? Who? Oh, the Rusky? Yeah, he ain't coming with us. You're just gonna leave him here? I don't give a good goddamn where he goes. He's done. He's too dangerous to bring. At this point, you might be right. He knows the area. He can help us. Oh yeah, some help he's been. He got Luke killed. I ain't gonna say he helped the situation, but maybe if you'd eased up on him before, he wouldn't have run away in the first place. You ever think about that, Kenny? Either way, I'm not going anywhere. Yeah, it's so easy to point fingers, isn't it, Mike? Yeah, when you're not the one who got their face kicked, out. smashed to blood on get us out. Mike? We're all gonna die out here if you don't calm the fuck down, Kenny. Haven't we been through enough for one day? Jesus fucking Christ. Remember the last time we had a working car and sat around on our asses, Clem? I'm going inside. God damn it! Kenny, are you okay? Yeah, I just don't trust any of these guys anymore. They're awful, awful people. You better talk some sense into him. For his sake. God damn it. God damn it! That stupid fucking... 
Get the fuck out of here! It's me. Clem. Sorry, just give me a second. Close the door. Can you believe this, Clem? I bring them a working truck, and they act like I just shit in their cereal. I knew Jane would have a stick up her ass, but I thought at least Mike would have more sense. He's turned out to be a real disappointment. Well, why can't we just leave tomorrow? Look, we got maybe a day's worth of food for that kid left. That's it. Clem, think about Rebecca and Alvin. I mean, what if Lee hadn't gone tearing across half of Georgia looking for you? A lot of folks died to make that happen. A lot of folks died to get us this far. I know. You're right. Someone's got to keep this group together. That kid's depending on us. <sighs> I wish Lee was here. What you think he'd say? I think he'd tell me that he doesn't have all the answers. <laughs> We can't just give up on this kid. I mean, what's the point of going on after that? That's what people like Lee knew. And what people like Jane won't ever understand. Look, I know Wellington might be bullshit. But where there's smoke, there's fire. Krista heard about it too, right? You know, when I first saw you back at that lodge, I thought I was dreaming. And when you sat down next to me, and we shared that meal, well, I could tell that you were different now. Grown up. Uh, I felt pride. A pride I hadn't felt in a long time. But I need you now, Clem. There have to be folks doing better than us. Something has to be out here. We'll find it, Kenny. I knew I could count on you, Clem. Look. We'll figure everything out in the morning. Come on. Let's get some sleep. Yeah, Kenny's been for I'm not abandoning him this I mean just there's no point. It's the others who are the ones that don't trust at all. And the thing is if they can so easily turn on the group, they're not to be trusted either. Anyway guys, thanks for watching. Until next time.